So I partnered up, I'm a CEO now on a percentage of United Masters. Tell them hate me. Ain't no full gaze, I'm trying to convince feet to tell Reggie how big the she gonna be if we have a baby. But I'm serious though. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Me and Two movement. Um, this is our first time in Tactical Operations Studios, but this is also in hindsight. And today we're talking about the NBA young boy and YFN situation. I'm actually starting this one off with a question. Why, why is a... Uh, why is Lucia and Young Thug beefing? What, what, what is they beef about? I asked that question because with now, Lucia going up under NBA Young Boy posts saying, um, boy, a bitch in person, boy, a real bitch in person after NBA Young Boy said, I'm trying to get Regine pregnant. Um, and we finna talk about that shit, but, um, because I need, I, I probably need to speak to Wayne. Um, but Young Thug, you know, has shown feminine ways, obviously. Whether it was for the, you know, publicity or not, he shows feminine ways. He's shown it. Um, and, and, and really, Lucha has too. To me, teaming up with your enemy's enemy, that's whole shit. Girls do that in high school. That's whole shit. That what girl doing, that what Lucha did. Lucha went to Texas and fucked with Sauce and them and shit like that. Y'all didn't have no bond before that. Like that, that I don't, I don't fuck with that, but. And I don't wanna just say, I don't wanna say that. Because them niggas don't represent the whole Atlanta. But that, that's, that, that's whole shit. I'm going to team up with your enemy just so, yeah, look at this, yeah, like that shit. It make, it make the nigga look powerful. Like nigga got to team up to beef with me. That's the first thing. But with this, when you see this, um, when I see Lucha going at NBA Youngboy because he said something about Regine. First of all, Lucha, let, let me just speak to you first right off the bat. Um, I don't know who the fuck, how the fuck. But that's this this the rap trap. This the rap trap. Even if Lucha don't feel like uh that's my bitch, you disrespecting my bitch, or you or you you coming at my bitch, or you you trying to get my bitch, even if he don't feel like that. That's the way it come off. And that's the way, like, you have to say, you, but to be honest, you don't have to say that. That's not really, you not, you not really forced to say that. Like, but if we think about it, the fans will make you. Like, ah, uh, everybody on your mention is all about NBA Youngboy, fuck Lucia. And I guess it is part of the rap trap because this rap game at this point in time is like, like the prison politics are in effect. Like everybody's watching. So if you are perceived as letting somebody fuck over you, then everybody gonna do it. So you're forced to put yourself in this situation, but now what do we have? Now you look like some type of nigga you salty about, it look like Reggie they love you. It look like Reggie ain't left you. You out this bitch looking like fucking Offset. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? The nigga said he told Fee, holler at Reggie will be, it'll be big if, if she have a baby by me. Nigga, if you, if you good with where you at and you getting your money, why the fuck 
But here's the thing though. The word on the the word inside from the people I've spoken to that are, you know, inside a little bit, motherfuckers is kind of saying that young boy ain't like that. And that shit can be disrespectful than a bitch. Real talk. Dog, it's one thing when, you know, somebody who handle a business, you know what I'm saying, stand up nigga, disrespect you because you feel like they know what come behind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if it go to the wire, they gonna be the one to stand up under that. But when you know that nigga, Lil Pump, Lil Tekka, 6 9 you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, nigga, I can't, I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that, my nigga, because you not finna stand none of whatever pressure I bring. Like, you gonna put that work on the motherfuckers around you that's extorting you. Motherfuckers are saying that young boy done been caught a couple times uh, on some one-on-one -on -one shit, and he didn't have that young boy energy. It wasn't following your fuck about nothing, my nigga. It wasn't all that right there. It wasn't swinging on like nigga is a really shy, quiet type nigga. Stand down type shit. But then when he got 30 niggas, then he just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And real talk, that shit is annoying as fuck. Like nigga, you not built to beef with me. You not built to play with me. So that's, that's really how a nigga could feel and that's definitely a possibility. But this is what a rap trap come into play at. See, how can I say this? Some artists profit from the rap trap. Um, the fact that you have to look gangster and, and all that shit like that and you, everybody is exaggerating that gangster and that alpha shit, it make it look like that's what you supposed to do and then on top of that, you don't have shit to lose. I'm really just a fucking actor. And this is, I'm having the time of my life getting to act like a gangster and people look at me like a gangster. Your fans made the stallion, for example, and we all gonna speak about that on this channel. She's, you go look at old footage, she is nothing to look at. Um, and I think that's why she has so many fans because they feel that energy from her, that low self-esteem, nab energy. I wanna be fine, I want dudes to want me, I wanna be bad like Lauren London and supposedly Ari, I wanna be bad too, but I'm not. And that's why bitches like Lizzo. So they feel that energy from me, like, yeah, she living out our dream. It's a, it's a, it's the ugly, dunk, uh, ugly duckling or the uh, uh, Cinderella story from rags to riches. So they fuck with that. So they made her, and it's happened time and time again, you know, uh, your fans are so so behind you and they looking at you like you can't do no wrong to where you will actually lie. You will lie. Because that's what your fans want from you. And so if your fans are looking at you like you NBA young boy, NBA young boy, I remember Vlad said one time on the interview that he believed in Ice Cube so much when he was coming up. He believed that Ice Cube, he said, Ice Cube will come in here and kill everybody. He really thought that he was really a killer. And I think that's the exact same way that these kids look at NBA Youngboy. And when your career is based on you being a real gangster and what you will do, you are at that very, as soon as your career, as soon as you can't get beat up, without losing, you know what I'm saying? Like the nigga Bosco 100. This nigga got beat up years ago because niggas set him up to get jumped. 
and the nigga, he, you know, he tried to fight back and shit like that or whatever. I don't know if he did. It seemed like, I mean, the nigga ain't run to my recollection. But niggas is still talking about that shit today. And they won't let him start his rap career because, well, also because he joke a lot, but he has to. They not gonna let him do shit because he got beat up. As soon as your career cannot take a one-on-one -on -one fight L, you just waiting to be a victim of the rap trap. If we ever would have seen Jeezy get beat up, ever would have seen Gotti get beat up, that shit would have been over. You would look at them totally different today. But to be honest though, to be honest, if we think about NBA Youngboy, that nigga, that nigga took herpes to the chin. That nigga took herpes to the chin. So I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, because these kids, they they want to, they want to believe, just like with Meg the Stallion. She's a lying bitch. She came out and openly said, I'm robbing a nigga. I betrayed a nigga. And her fans, yeah, all good. She can do no wrong in their eyes. So motherfuckers will make excuses for you. But no. Nah. No, nah, I don't see NBA Youngboy being able to get actually beat up and he curl up and shit like that and motherfuckers ride with that. That's his persona. His persona is, I'm the most gangster. I come through with them cutters and chop a nigga whole house up. And he surround himself like that. He surround himself with motherfuckers that will, you know, handle that business anxious to show they loyalty to him and that's also another symptom of the rap trap having savage parasites leeches around you everybody that's around is trying to ensure that they family is gonna eat forever and the only way they can do that is by sucking NBA young boy dick. Niggas will go to prison as long as they family is taken care of. Sad shit. But in this situation with Lucia and NBA young boy, we look at the variables, we look at what we have. Lucia was openly dating Lil Wayne's daughter first mistake right there that's your first mistake right there um dating a public figure dating a public figure well dating a now period um but definitely a a a, a public now that's Ari, black china amber rose so on and so forth selena goldman selena powell like you leaving yourself open, especially if you are gangster rapper and your reputation, your career relies on you being gangster and motherfuckers perceiving you as gangster. Now you in a, a hard place because now every time a nigga say something about this bitch that you fucking dated, this public figure that you dated, now you gotta jump out the window and say something. Or everybody's calling you a hoe in the comments and in your mentions and shit like that. And it's so, in 2020, mentions and comments become reality. If this shit is said enough time in the comment section, in the mentions, that's who the fuck you are. And now people are gonna go and find evidence of that that supports that theory that you are a bitch. So now they start going back, looking at when you started. See, I told you, he been a hoe. And you see real fucking um, effects from that. You start seeing your goddamn numbers start to fall. You start seeing more motherfuckers play with you. Next thing you know, um, Bosco 100 is on this motherfucker laughing at you, making jokes. 
Rallo the Great is on that motherfucker making jokes. Uh, you got motherfuckers making jokes about you. Niggas is playing. And that playing shit, you can't beat everybody. So what, once again, we're in the rap trap. You're trapped. You trapped. You have to, so now, once that happened, now you gotta beat the comments, you gotta beat the mentions. What can you do? You gotta go out here and risk your freedom. You gotta put everything on the line. Everything that you built, you have to put that on the line. We saw that. I think the latest example that I could remember would have to be, and I'm sure there's another one, but let's just say finesse two times. You know, I love using him as an example. You, what's, hold up, what's the other one? Uh, somebody just got robbed. Rizzo Rizzo. Rizzo Rizzo is an artist on TSF, and um, he is, uh, the nigga, uh, uh, billionaire black robbed him because he was hanging with Sada Baby, and Sada Baby said something about Tuka or something back in the day or some shit like that. And so now when you align with them, they come and get you. With Rizzo Rizzo not acting on no retarded gangster shit, now he's looking like a fucking joke. If you do not put your life on the line, put your freedom on the line, then it's the end of your fucking career. That is essentially what the rap trap is. As soon as you become successful in this music thing, now you're forced to do shit that you would not do if you were just a normal person. Your ego is always on trial. Your gangster is always on trial. Your manhood is always on trial. So now, instead of you being able to just get money and move around, now you didn't say this shit and now you gotta look over your shoulder when you come down to Louisiana or you go anywhere where he may have allies. And if you bitch up when they come to you, that's the end of your career. If you get beat up, that's the end of your career. Unless you're ready to go over there and down some, and, and that, that'll be the end too, because when you go to prison, now everybody gonna call you stupid for doing what the fuck you were supposed to do in the eyes of the music industry. This is a trap whenever you, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I think white people call that a catch 22. So you had to say something because you made the mistake of dating a public fucking figure that was a nail. Niggas, like, I don't know who played with the bitch when, you know, when, when you was talking to her, but it seemed like nigga ain't said nothing until you broke up with the bitch. Once you broke up with it, it shouldn't have been no fucking issue. You back on, you know, whatever you want. You learn the lesson, you move on. But you couldn't do that because your mentions and your comments was filled the fuck up, wasn't it? Motherfuckers in your DM with that shit, ain't it? And that's when I started talking about FBI agents under these fucking AVIs and these accounts. Some of these fucking accounts are not regular fucking hip hop fans. They're fucking FBI agents trying to get you to make that fucking misstep, stirring up beef so that they can get you to fuck off the street. The hip hop police have not gone anywhere. They just got in advance. Now they're not in the cars no more. They in a the chat. And that, that, that's, that's what that fuck that is. Like I said, we gon' but like I said, it, it's a lot of variables. You could have felt like NBA young boy, a hoe. Nigga, I know you ain't talking about me like nigga. What? You? You been on my dick, nigga. You love my style, nigga. Fuck young boy. Ah, fuck with your soul like, but you know what that is. Somebody tell me what song that's off of. But that's all it is. It's very simple and plain. We're gonna watch that shit and see what happened with it. The phone about to go there, so I, I just, I wanna go ahead and make sure we got it done before we leave out. Y'all make sure y'all go to the uh, Patreon, go to the PayPal, make sure you support the Cash App. See y'all in a minute. Love, love.